Welcome back to P2 Aero and the RANS S21 build project. I invite you to check out the video description to learn more about the S21 and also some of the products you see me using in this build. Like, share, and subscribe to monitor the progress and make sure to leave a comment and let me know what you think of it. To be honest, I've done very little work on the airframe since the last update, but that doesn't mean that I've been at idle. A good portion of the effort put forth in anything this complex is done outside of the workshop researching, planning, and designing the subsystems of the aircraft. Since it's been so cold, that's exactly what I've been up to. As you've all seen, I'm throwing some serious tech at the firewall forward section of this 21. I figure it's only fitting to continue that trend as I move into the other systems. You're probably familiar with the vertical power solid state power management system that's been around for a bit now. Like usual, General Aviation is the last market to get the technology that most other motorsports have enjoyed for years. I believe that that's somewhat intentional since it's hard to get out and walk at 10,000 feet. But I feel like we're at a point now where this tech can be safely relied upon to manage power in general aviation aircraft. I've seriously considered using VP in this build, but felt I wanted a bit more of an open source product that was more user configurable and flexible to, to contour around my build and vision. The main unit that I settled on is the Hardwire Electronics PDM25. This compact, lightweight box will hook up to the battery at the main lug and manage all the power distribution for my build. Individual circuit protection and control is all user configurable within the software via the USB port. External sensors and triggers can be used to dream up any system you'd like to switch between, retry, and even alert the user of issues. Like everything else, this comes as a trade-off. I've given up simple tactic mechanical switches and breakers in exchange for some pretty advanced tech that comes with a bit of a learning curve for those not already dabbling in these kinds of things. I always try and imagine my future self troubleshooting an issue with every system that I put together. Repairability and maintainability are huge things to consider while configuring layouts. Just because it fits doesn't mean that it's a great spot to locate it. I try and keep it compact and conveniently locate components grouped up to aid and direct simple connections when possible. Here you see I've mocked up an EarthX battery and could, for example, throw this PDM just above it. This isn't the final layout by any means. It's just good to see it in the airframe and play with ideas in real life. Now Hardwire offers several versions varying in capacity, but I went with the 25 as to not limit me on options. This system can use normal switches just like the VP setup does. The switches carry no load and they're just a low side signal to trigger any program circuit or group of circuits. This is much easier on switches and opens up the switch selection to a much broader range. This isn't the path that I'm going down, however, it is a commendable option if you fancy it. This PDM is capable of sending and receiving data via a CAN bus data line allowing the use of keypads to perform the switching as well as fault indication. It also has a plus of being backlit for nighttime use. Being data, there isn't a wire for every function. It works like your computer keyboard does and severely simplifies the physical installation aspect of any electrical system. Any button can be programmed to do any function as well as multiple button presses doing other things. For example, button 1 can be programmed to turn on the taxi light on the first press. On the second, it can turn on the landing light as well. Press it again and the taxi light goes off but the landing light remains on. The possibilities are really endless. I stumbled across a great resource for panel design and visualization. Hangar Zulu has most of the panel dimensions for all the popular aircraft out there today. You're able to not only drag and drop any part from their vast library, but also input custom images of things just like these keypads to get an idea of how it might look with everything else in your panel. I've elected to go with Dynon for my build, but I'll talk more about that in a future dedicated avionics video. I can't tell you how many different layouts I've done using this website, and I would highly recommend it to anyone panel dreaming out there. Please keep in mind, it's never my intention to sway or influence your builds or opinions out there. I just really enjoy sharing my thought process behind the decisions that I've made on my own build. I do realize some will commend the effort, while others will express concern. Just know that if you plan to go this far outside the norm, you have to have your head wrapped around the bigger picture so it can be done in a safe manner. I look forward to hearing your thoughts on this setup in the comments below. Thanks for watching.